If we assume that our brain picks up one new word per day, and that there are a thousand languages and each one has 10,000 words, then it would take us 10 million years of learning to be able to talk to each and every person in the world. But how many languages and words are there really? And how many would we need to learn to understand everything? The story of a curious girl, Maya, will help us find out. Maya was sitting in the schoolyard, looking at yesterday's paper, when a teacher walked by. The old man asked the young girl what business she had reading the newspaper, to which Maya replied, I'm trying to understand them world. To understand them world? How about learning some English first, her teacher countered. At first, Maya was just upset, but then her frustration turned into motivation, and she promised herself that she'd master English better than anyone, especially that stupid teacher. Like most kids aged six, Maya understood about 5,000 words, used about 2,500, and held basic conversations. Her brain had picked up more than one word a day since she was born, and would continue to do so until late adulthood. From the day she began her quest, it took her another 12 years of casual conversation and deliberate practice to learn the more nuanced aspects of the language, like sarcasm and irony. During that time, her receptive vocabulary grew to 20,000 words, and she expressed herself with about 10,000. On her 18th birthday, she decided to visit the newly retired teacher to give him a demo of her linguistic skills. When the man opened the door, she told him that she had mastered the English language. But he just smiled, said nothing, and then disappeared into the darkness of his house. Soon after, he returned with the 20 volumes of the Oxford English Dictionary, asking Maya to read them all, adding that only then would she be able to master English. Maya accepted the challenge and started the same night. For the next two decades, she was excited to read up on ideas and meanings behind the 170,000 words that are in current use and studied approximately 430,000 old-fashioned terms. Maya learned a lot of English, a lot about the world in general, and a lot about languages in particular. She discovered the top five spoken languages, which are English, spoken by about 1.5 billion people, followed by Mandarin, 1.3 billion, Spanish, 500 million, Arabic, 400 million, and French, 300 million. Maya found out that many languages are about to die, but that there are still around 6,500 that exist worldwide, and that there are close to 20,000 dialects in India alone. She discovered Esperanto, a newly constructed international language that's spoken by about a million people all around the world. She learned that there are all sorts of gestures and facial expressions we use to communicate preferences and feelings, and that there are a staggering 300 types of distinct sign languages, plus hundreds of programming languages and pictographic and symbolic languages. After learning all of that, Maya went back to see the teacher not to boast about her proficiency, but to thank him and to tell him that understanding the world and everyone in it takes not only English, but truly comprehending thousands of languages and millions of words, an impossible task. But it wasn't an old man that opened the door, but a young four-year-old, who, with a friendly smile, simply asked, Welcome, how can help you? And Maya, despite all her knowledge, had no idea what to reply. What do you know about languages? Did you master one or maybe two? And if so, which ones? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. If you like this video and want us to make more, subscribe to our channel or support us on Patreon.